standard. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Fan Boxing. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click like and the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Okay, so let's all. So I'm going to be new bang news really different for you. So Joseph the Dreamer Parker um stopped a very interesting boxer in Simon Keen in the uh, bro it was in the third round okay Parker this must be Parker's worst performance this is the worst let's say the worst Parker I've ever seen fight it's just pathetic and it's sad that Joseph the Dreamer Parker is no longer the guy that we used to know what um uh, I won't say done for but damn man Parker was the dawn guy he was the like the one so sad bro what do you guys make of this fire right here Parker's was from my opinion of course he got a knockout and Simon Keen even at the Wallis I did once they only saw he was Canadian, he said this guy is no good. <laughs> I did how do you know that? <laughs> Bro, you know me me, I've been living in Canada for so long and I you know, I, I'm not gonna be fooled again by these guys, bro. Like Canada doesn't have good fighters. The last time we had good fighters were guys like um 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 Superman in light heavyweight division. Oh, what's the guy's name again? Oh man. You guys wasn't the Canadian, uh, uh, Adana, Adana Stevenson. Yes, Stevenson. Yes, Adonis Stevenson. Yeah, that was the last great fighter that we had. Bermain Stevenson, too, is partly Canadian. Um, Lennox Lewis is more British than Canadian. Actually, we're not even giving um, Lewis to Britain or Can Canada, we're giving Lewis to Jamaica. Okay, and yeah, but, but, guys... but listen, he represented Canada at the, the Olympics, right? <laughs> Yes, he did. He actually so, did. Yeah. So, yeah, he is. Canadian. Yeah, but I mean, going, going back to born, this fight, it was bro. Born in, it was born in the UK. Represent yeah, Canada. Lewis was born in the UK, I believe, yeah. He was born in the UK. Yeah, continue, bro. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, man. Um, I'm just going to say um, sorry sorry to my guy, Simon Kane, my Canadian guy. It is what it is, but that's what happens when you step up and fight guys that have been on the world level for so long. Joseph Parker is not even one of the best fighters, but he dispatched of you quickly. It just shows the level. There is levels in this boxing game, okay? So when you look at the record of a guy like, like Simon Kane prior to fighting Joseph Parker, and you see 20 knockouts, your first question should be, against who? And if you guys remember, there was a guy that was a late replacement for Gennady Golovkin when he was supposed to fight. Um, the fight before... Um... um the guy from New York. Ah, um, oh, man. Sorry, man. I'm having a brain freeze right now. Um. Anyways, there was this other guy from Etobico that re that jumped in and was the replacement for Golovkin. That guy's record in going into that fight was 20 and 0, with like 16 knockouts. So everybody was like, "Wow, this guy is gonna be a good replacement." He got in the ring against Golovkin and got destroyed, totally destroyed. But he got paid good. He got paid five hundred thousand dollars. So that's just how boxing is, man. To that guy that got knocked out by Golovkin, it's a win for his career because he got paid big money after fighting all over Toronto, Quebec, and not making any money. Now he goes to America, fights against one of the top guys in the world, and gets paid $500,000. It's still a win for him. Going back to this fight, sorry that I digress, my people. I apologize. Joseph Parker. Um, he threw some, it was when he started using variations in his punches, he was using the jab to the body, and then he changed it to the uppercut, and that was when he had the first success, that wobbled Simon Kane, and then he went for the kill, and he got the job done, so congrats to Joseph Parker, I still don't believe Joseph Parker can become a great fighter, I believe he's at, he has gotten to that point in his career where he is declining, or he has already declined. And I wish him the best. He's still a young guy, 31, 32 years old, with a high mileage in his boxing career, right? So it is what it is. Great entertaining fight still. I think the Saudis did a good job putting all these heavyweights together because we've been having nothing but first or second or third round knockouts so far. So that's good. 
Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on this. Uh, Tajak, boy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, you know, I have to agree with what you guys said. We're not doing Unfortunately, um, this you know, this performance, this fight is catered for the Saudis. They spend a lot of money. They want knockouts. They don't want any competition. They want people to, you know, to to owe back and forth. You know, come on. Let's be honest. In a real fight, you wouldn't hear these guys, actual fighters or actual boxing fans, start counting one, two, three. You know, counting one, two, three means your opponent is pretty much trash. Because if they if they if they knew these other actual fighters who will give people actual fights, they wouldn't count one, two, three. It's more like this guy's probably gonna get up, you know. But these guys will count one, two, three. Come on, they don't do that in real fight. So it kind of tells me this isn't a real fight. More like a wrestling, more, more like wrestling. Okay, but I've I've looked at Joseph Parker, man, being stopped by. Uh, um, the way he did against um, uh, Andy Ruiz, I said Andy Ruiz, being stopped by by uh, uh, Joe Joyce, Joyce, man, it's, it says a lot, especially the way he got stopped, you know. And I was like, man, I don't know, man. This kind of this this guy, he he looks like he's done, you know. It's just the way he got stopped. It's just made me like all bloodied up and shit like that. That's what made me. That's what made me. Uh, that's what made me feel like, yeah, he's, he's he's kind of finished. You know, he hasn't been the same in such a long time. No matter how much of a of of, of they try to rebuild him, no matter how much like uh, uh, they try to give him like a low level fighter, all of a sudden like they'll try to move up the, another level of fight, and he gets stopped or he looks bad. You know, yeah, he got the win against uh, um, this guy Simon King, but he. he he it looks like man, he's gonna be in trouble when he fights somebody uh, with a heartbeat, you know. But that's just that's just my opinion. That's just my yeah, bro. I don't understand it, guys. You ready for a brother? Touch up, we are the wallet still, Muslim, right here. God bless you all.